Hey guys, never ignore this noise, sound. Why? Because if you do, you may completely destroy your engine and that can cost you thousands of dollars. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Mustang. It could be multiple different years generation Ford Mustang, 4, 6 or 8 cylinder engine. If you experience noise on cold start, rattle noise for let's say one or two seconds and after the start that the noise goes away, it could be something like drrr and then it's gone. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that guys and uh, why it's very important to fix it on time otherwise you can say bye bye to your engine and you may need the engine replaced if not, you don't fix it on time. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart guys. Anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, exterior. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return for providing these free videos, please subscribe to the channel and like the videos that way we can uh, keep making them. Now, if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools at a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tool supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So let's start on it now. So we'll demonstrate on that Ford Mustang 2019 model GT guys that we have here that we've been working on. Uh, we have had uh, quite a few Mustangs during the years and we'll share with you what often can cause guys, okay, engine noise on cold start. Let's say guys you start the engine, okay, first thing in the morning, right, you get in the car, you start it and the first one or two seconds you hear guys a noise, a rattle coming from the engine and then it's gone. And then let's say you turn the car off, you restart it and you don't hear the noise. But you let the car sit a few hours or one night, you start the next day, you hear that rattle again. What can easily be causing that guys? You hope that's not the case, but stay with us, we'll explain how you can easily prevent that in the future on other cars because that could be really expensive repair. That noise guys could indicate one problem. Okay, on most Mustangs you have timing chain. Okay, and often you may have up to four different timing chains and uh, on the V8s uh, often you can have up to two timing chain tensioners guys. Uh, and those timing chain tensioners are hydraulic uh, tensioners that are controlled by the oil flow. When, the, uh, when you turn the engine on you build oil pressure that uh, tensioner will be under pressure so it will keep constant pressure on the timing chain. But when you turn the car off guys it's made to wear Okay, the timing chain tensioner has one tooth that prevents the tensioner from collapsing and that way, okay, the timing chain will not develop slack. But if that tooth, wear out, uh, that tooth wears out, what happens? Timing chain will collapse, will contract. And as a result, next time you start the car until it builds oil pressure, you, uh, you will not have any tension on the timing chain. Timing chain will be loose, so the timing chain will be the one rattling and creating that noise. Okay, rattling in the valve cover, in timing chain guides. So, Practically, okay, it's very dangerous because uh, on the next cold start or even while driving the car, practically your engine may fail, guys, especially on cold starts. Why? Because you can jump timing chain, you can destroy valves, you can destroy the engine, pistons, guys, connecting rods, and you can practically need the engine completely rebuilt or replaced. So, if you hear that noise, most likely, guys, okay, consult. Uh, uh, with a mechanic but most likely it's a timing chain tensioner if it's only for one two seconds coming from the engine usually kind of like on the front part how we can avoid that first you can guys avoid that by using a good quality engine oil okay this is amazing oil that we use here at the shop you can see more about it here it talks about the penetration and all that stuff friction and wear protection uh, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can buy it from it meets the Ford uh, specifications and next using an additive such as the Serate guys can save your engine in the future as well it reduces friction that gives you more fuel economy lasts up to 30,000 miles and if we open it I want to show you now here it says that it reduces wear by 34% and reduces friction by 75%. So uh, you can see this is guys the timing chain that we have here out of a BMW. That's the tensioner that uh, works in a different way. Okay, it doesn't have the tooth, but uh, practically that one destroyed because of a bad tensioner. It destroyed the timing chain guides as well right here. So it's no joke fixing on time. 
uh, we'll have a video how to do that coming soon we'll be taking the engine apart thank you for watching see you next time